Okay, today we're going to talk about breathing and abdominal bracing. This is probably the most important topic uh, that I can uh, go over with you. And I think I beat a bunch of you up about this already. Uh, you're always hearing cues on it, but uh, we're going to go through it in depth. And there's not a lot of powerlifters, strongmen, just straight athletes talking about this stuff, but I guarantee you any elite level person is doing this whether they know it or not. You're not going to squat a thousand pounds unless you're bracing properly. Uh, and the reason it's important, and breathing itself is just as important, is everything is connected to that. So you got two core joints that we do, at least in power, when we transfer power. One is through the hip, one's through the shoulder. Both of those tie into your core. So if someone's not bracing properly, you're going to see them on the bench, and they're benching like this, and everybody's trying to fix them, cueing what to do with the shoulder, put your elbow here, have them brace properly. And usually that resolves a lot of the issues. So, I don't get on a soapbox. I'm going to pretend there's a thousand pound weight dropping out of the sky here. And I'm going to deal with it in a minute. That'll make sense in a while. Now, before we uh, deal with this thousand pound weight dropping from the sky, we're going to talk about breathing. So relax. Take a deep breath. Follow along here. Take a deep breath. Look down and look at what's moving first. Reese, get up here. Take a big breath, buddy. Again. It's all coming in up here. You guys see that? And that's what most of us are doing. So that's just what society does to us. You know, elevated stress levels. Actually, technological devices kind of get all this tight and Rapid breathing, breathing starts moving up into your chest. This is the opposite of what we want to do. You want to breathe and fill up from the bottom. So breathe, take your air. So, move in close, Jim. I'm going to take a breath from the bottom up. Not coming in here. And it's got a wave like pattern that it follows. Okay? Practice that. Practice it through the day. Practice it when you're on the job. Practice it when you're lying in bed. Get that down. Get your breathing pattern back to what's called diaphragmic breathing. You can do some searches on it. Find some more in-depth uh, information on that. So, next up, we got our breathing down. I'm not worried about when you cue your breath in and out on your lips and da 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 for repetition work. We're going to talk about, let's pick up some heavy shit. Let's deal with this thousand pound weight dropping out of the sky here, okay? So, here's what we do. Next step, we're breathing right. Uh, a lot of women are familiar with me you know, trying to push on the pelvic floor. Uh, but first, we're going to talk about, that's important, but we're going to talk about pressurizing the obliques. Right here. Right in one of those love, love handles are. Okay? Those are little balloons. You want to fill them up. So, watch. I can do this while I'm talking. I'm pressurizing. Blowing those up. See how much movement I get out of that? Same time, I'm pushing down through here. Not out in the belly. You don't need a hernia or anything like that. You don't want to be, uh, where's Rudy going? He's gone. <laughs> you don't want to be Rudy or John. You don't want to be poking anything out of your belly. Okay, push it down in here. Pushing this out. Boom, boom. As you're doing that, you can almost feel your glutes start to tighten up. That's the next step to deal with a thousand pound weight. So, we're going to stand here. We're going to drive our heels to the floor. Flex our quads a little bit. Focus on straightening the leg. Take your glutes. Squeeze them together. Twist your, twist your feet on the floor. Brace. Out here. Boom. Push out, Andre. God, you're too damn skinny. <laughs> <laughs> I feel solid right here. I am ready to catch that weight, drop it out of the sky, and hit my trigger shoulders. Boom. I'm ready. This is solid. This is straight. This is a neutral spine. That's how you get strength. That's how you get it in your deadlift. This is how, when somebody says, straighten your back. You don't straighten your back by going, I'm going to straighten it. Try this. Get in here. Boop. And automatically pulls out the ground in my lumbar spine. That's what you do. That's what you think about. Now, we'll tie it back to squat. I see lots of people think, i got to arch, 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 arch. Let me get under that one. All right, I'm ready to lift that up. You can do that right now. Now think about that thousand pound weight dropping out of the sky and it's going to hit you. Holy shit, I'm going to get damn crumpled and pushed through the floor. That's what I feel like. Okay? 
that should intrinsically tell you maybe that's a bad position. So as you're doing that, you're destabilizing your spine. We can go through all the specifics of it. Uh, a few of them, you know, you're rotating here, you're opening up the psoas, which is a deep spinal stabilizer. It, you can look up the research if you want to, but this is what you want. Squeeze those glutes. Brace! Keep the rib cage pulled in. You won't be up here. Pull the rib cage in. Push out. A bleach. Do that. Get up to set up set on the squat. You get ready to lift up. That's what you need to do. That bar's going to come up and feel like nothing. You're getting down to deadlift. It's uncomfortable to push out. It's hard to get in there, especially if you develop a nice power motor like me. But you got to do it. Get in here. Look at I'm all rounded out here. Okay. Now it's time to pressurize the brake. I'm in position. This is the most important thing. Bench press. We we do destabilize the spine. We arch all up. You know, we do these things to shorten range of motion, all that. That's not necessarily good. But it doesn't mean that you still can't do those some things. If you do those, Aaron, does that have an impact on your shoulder position and your arm flare? Yeah. Yes, it does. Okay. That's it. Thank you.